In the last video, we have discussed about terraforming. If humans ever try to terraform any planet, their first choice will be Mars. Welcome to SciSeeker. Mars was pretty similar to Earth about 4 billion years ago. It was warm and wet, and had a thick atmosphere also. It was protected from the solar winds by Mars's once active magnetic field, produced by a dynamo effect from its interior heat. But as the smaller planet cooled, Mars lost its magnetic field eventually. During the next several hundred million years, the Sun's powerful solar winds stripped most of the unprotected Martian atmosphere into space, and the rest of the compounds were absorbed by its surface, thereby causing most of the water to simply evaporate and vanish, leaving the parched Martian surface that we see today. But, can we turn Mars into Earth too, by bringing back the younger days by terraforming it? Now Mars's atmosphere is about 100 times thinner than Earth's, so, Mars can't retain any heat absorbed from the Sun, and the average temperature on Mars is about minus 60 degrees Celsius. First of all, we need to heat up the planet, by creating a massive global warming effect, and scientists have come up with three main ways to do that. First way is to build factories, that would turn elements and compounds in the Martian soil into greenhouse gases, and pump them into the atmosphere. The second way is to build giant mirrors in space to reflect sunlight onto the dry ice which covers Martian ice caps. When the dry ice heats, it will sublimate into carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. The final method is, bombarding the planet with asteroids which are propelled by rocket engines. The ammonia in the asteroids would act as a greenhouse gas, and nitrogen will also get into the atmosphere by this method. If any of these methods worked, the planet will have an atmosphere of greenhouse gases, which will trap the heat from the sun and warm up the planet. Eventually, increased temperature will defreeze the polar ice caps into liquid water. Then, we need oxygen and an ozone layer in Mars. For that, we introduce organisms like cyanobacteria or lichens, which will release oxygen by photosynthesis and the oxygen could eventually form ozone. So the atmosphere is created, but not for so long. Mars can't retain its atmosphere without the magnetosphere, the solar winds will eventually strip it into space. So Mars needs to get its magnetosphere back. But we really don't know how to do that. Because Mars's outer core have cooled down from liquid to solid, by the loss of its interior heat. And if we can melt it, rest of them will be easy task comparatively. But with the current technologies, Mars terraforming seems impossible. And maybe in the future, we might achieve the technologies to do so, and make Mars habitable for Earth-like life. Thanks for watching, see you later with a new topic, on SciSeeker.